Hello everybody, it is me again. Today I figure I weigh in on something that I've been seeing, we all have been seeing it really, on the internet over the last, I'd say month, month and a half, maybe even two at this point. It's the great debate between the so-called red pill and the so-called trad cons. Now, this debate's interesting because generally speaking, of course, it's not entirely like this due to the fact that again, the red pill isn't really a movement, it's more of just information what people do with that information ultimately is up to them. However, generally speaking, a lot of people who subscribe to either of these ideals tend to have quite a bit of overlap with the other one in terms of ideological stuff, as well as even values. However, lately we've been seeing, especially from the Daily Wire, you know, the Tradcon side, quote unquote, is that men just need to get married, blah, 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 etc. And the red pill has no surprise been pushing back against this, saying that is abhorrently stupid. But who's correct here? Now, based on videos I've made before, for people who have been here around a while, or you know, people who may see this and go and look at other videos I've made in the past, may say, well, I'm gonna subscribe to the Tradcon idea. Actually, I'm not. Now, generally speaking, I have many critiques of people in the red pill sphere. That's completely beside the point though. For speaking purely on the issue here, the red pill is actually correct, and I will explain why. The issue mostly comes with the fact that the trad cons, generally speaking, tend to be men who are usually middle-aged, have already been established in the world, in life, they already have a wife, they already have children, so they're completely removed from the actual situation on the ground. It's kind of like a battlefield commander making decisions when they're not even seeing what is going on on the battlefield, right? Where another aspect of this kind of comes in is that on the Tradcon side, a lot of them are women. So make of that what you will. Of course, they're gonna advocate for their interests. That's not surprising. But the Red Pill's correct in the basis that the whole Tradcon sphere, and we're starting to see this too, is a whole go to church, find yourself a chick there who's probably going to be reformed, quote unquote, and marry her. And the, it boils down really something simple. We can talk about the nuances. However, the point is actually pretty simple. The red pill is going to say, and rightfully so, that these men who would go to church don't really want to marry uh, reformed sluts, and no one can really blame them. The Daily Wire, again, being comprised of mostly young women or middle-aged men, don't have this problem. And therefore, they're completely removed from it, and either they don't understand it, or they outright refuse to acknowledge it. For, be it ignorance or malicious reasons, I'm going to weigh towards the former, though the latter may, may not be completely incorrect either. And it comes to a point where this is starting to become a huge debate, but it really isn't. The Tradcon side needs to realize something, that if you're going to be giving prescriptions to descriptions, it needs to be correct. The red pill is, after all, just a, as Andrew Wilson would rightfully say, it's not a prescription, it's a description. However, the prescription to what is going on in today's dating market isn't to enable the stuff that's fucked it all up, which realistically speaking, the Tradcon side is advocating for with a pretty bow on top saying it's actually traditional. Yeah, I guess, however, you kind of take away the necessity of said tradition when you decide to just say so yeah, it applies to everybody, even people who don't actually follow that. And that is something that the Tradcon side, quote unquote, the Daily Wire types, they're gonna need to be able to come to terms with this. Gonna, they need to be able to be honest with themselves and say, this is how it is, and maybe recalibrate their answer to this situation a little bit more than just simply, oh, get married, do a reformed slut, bro, at least she's reformed. Yeah, I guess it's better than if she's not reformed, though the ideal situation, if you're a, a guy who wants you want to get married, is to not marry a woman like that in general. But no surprise, again, the uh, Matt Walshes who are already established and have families are completely divorced from this and don't understand it. What I would say is, I agree with the red pill. However, I think some things from the track on site can be implemented, such as 
maybe church though is probably a better place to look or at least just generally speaking places that would attract people with more conservative socially speaking um world views however i will also say that the red pill is correct that you need to vet and if these people this woman per se doesn't fit your definition and you don't want to marry her you're not obliged to marry her that and that's i don't necessarily think the track con side is supposedly saying that though it's almost implied that oh you need to get married and you got to work with what you got you're not obliged to marry the town cum dumpster and you should at least look out for that and if you meet a woman she seems fine she ends up being that way don't do it with that said i hope you guys enjoy this i know the camera angle is a little weird i want to try and fix that in the next video i will see the next one have a good day